Good afternoon. We're going to make some THC infused gummies. First step is to make sure you have everything that you need out. So our items are a three ounce package of unflavored gel or flavored gelatin, not sugar free. I'm using two packets of unflavored as per the recipe that I posted and two thirds cup cold water. I've also got my lecithin to the side to put a little bit in because that is a nice fat protein that the THC bonds to. There's a little machine that heats it to a perfect temp without having to go back and forth to the stove. Also has a link posted. Since we're doing super lemon haze, we're going blue. So let's it then, bulk style. I like to make sure it's very loosely powdery because it'll stick together. As said, it is a plant fat protein. mini whisk, mix all of these powders together. Enter water. So we want to make sure that all of the gelatin is wet and separated and there are no clumps of gelatin that are still powdery. The gelatin is mixed and 15 minutes has elapsed. The gelatin has soaked up the water. So enter the trusty little heater and turn that on. I'm gonna go ahead and break up the gelatin a little bit here. Just give it a stir. And I'm going to wait probably about 10 minutes to come back and stir it again. Back, quick stir. It's starting to look clearer. For the record, I'm doing blue for Super Lemon Haze because True Clear has a blue label, just like I did red for Indica and I did yellow for Hybrid. All right, we're gonna let it sit another five minutes. So, it's been a little bit. I'm gonna go with that is as clear as it needs to look. Because there's less than in it, it doesn't get that crystal clear like if you're doing candy. But it is quite smooth, quite runny. I'm going to inject the Super Lemon Haze True Clear into it that has been soaking <laughs> and warming in a cup of warm water. Good 
dash to get stuff. Now what I'm doing here is optional. Now, I usually pull that off, but I'm going to pull some of the jello up in. Give it a shake and squirt that back in. We all want to make the most of all of our product. So I'm going to stir that in. And once again, I'm going to let it sit for five minutes to infuse before we put it into the molds. All right, we're gonna give it one more stir. And because this is gelatin and not egg, I'm not gonna whisk it super fast, assuming it's going to stay in there. I'm gonna do a little turning. Smells like THC. So, the gummy bear molds that I put the link to hold about a milliliter, you don't need to measure, but they came with little droppers. I'm going to hand this off to my partner because he has a much better non cramp if you drip anything because it's silicone it's gonna that's basically gonna be one dose all of the little dots that end up on top of the silicone yeah kind of just grab all those at the end put them together it's almost like having an extra bayer we use the opposite color or a different color than the jello So he's going to go ahead and fill the rest of those up, and we'll be back in a moment. On to another mold. We're going to go ahead and stipple some cornstarch onto the back. I've put these in the freezer. They've set and I've let them come back to temperature to make sure there's not a lot of moisture. So this is my makeup brush. There's a link to this. This is the stipple, the flat top. That's what we're gonna stipple with. So I've got cornstarch. I just use the cornstarch lid. I've got a little folded up foil and a paper towel in case I feel like it's getting too thick. So I just, want to stipple along the back of these. And if you feel there's a bit much, you can always go back and kind of wipe some of it away. The nice thing about the brush is you can twist it if you feel there's too much cornstarch somewhere. And you can use the edges of it. 
So I like to know that my backs are good prior to popping them out. I'm gonna pop this one out like so. Now I'm gonna turn it over and show you the quick way. There's one little guy. I just stick my nail into it and pop them out and then lay them out afterwards. Welcome back to the final step. We're going to say it's been 24 hours. These will stay out overnight. These have been out for 24 hours. They're slightly smaller because they've now reduced down a little bit in size. Once they have dehydrated a bit as such, I stipple them on the top with the cornstarch and I'm able to have them not to be sticky. Any further questions, please feel free to send me a private message or post on the video.